artist has a story to tell, and our musical guest this week has a particularly compelling one that includes, at the age of 14, performances on America's Got Talent that took him to the finals, all the way from Maple Valley, the phenomenal Benicio Bryant. Hello, <laughs> man. Hi. It's thank great you. to have yeah, you here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm so glad we got you because you're a very busy person right now. You've got a lot <laughs> going on. So, yeah. now, you, you performed two original songs on America's Got Talent, yeah. but for your debut performance, you performed The Joke, uh, Brandy yeah. Carlisle's 2017 hit. Yeah. Why did you choose that song? Um, so originally, I had performed with Brandy Carlisle mm -hmm. at, at my high school, and she was so amazing. And I was like, I love that song. It's such a great song. I'd like to audition with it. Mm -hmm. And I, it has a really good message. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to you know, go out on stage like that. You feeling nervous, aren't you bored? Now, so Brandy obviously has played a significant role, right? In, oh yeah, in your career. of course. Uh, so the joke, you, you performed that with her also on Seth Meyers? On Seth Meyers, okay. yeah. yeah. She, <laughs> she called our house and she was like, would you like to, you know, sorry for calling actually. She was, she <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, I was like, what? Bother me all the time. But you know, it was yeah. funny because she was like, yeah, would you like to, um, go on Seth Meyers with me and I was like of course like I just I was so you know blown away that she would even do yeah. that she's been really a mentor and helped her you and, know through my career and it's that's where awesome. America's Got Talent I know kind of first saw you Start, then, yeah I yeah I kind of knew that time and she the was really she's been supportive through the whole thing how did she how did she become aware of you from the get-go though how did when did she first become it was, aware yeah of you? it was really funny uh, so she was doing a performance at my high school mm -hmm. and one of my teachers was like yeah you know you should you should uh, go perform with her and I was like oh <laughs> wow I'd love to do that and so I went down there and I rehearsed with her and I totally blew it I mean like blew it what do you mean you like you just yeah, couldn't, just, couldn't I, I could it. not, I, oh. during rehearsal, uh -huh. and I just messed up the whole song, and I just was so, I was so embarrassed, because I was like, <gasps> I was yeah. like, how, how did this even happen? And so, you know, it was just one of those weird moments where I got on stage. The actual just, performance The itself. actual performance itself, yeah. and it's like the music just took over. All my nerves, I was having so much fun. And just, I could tell she was having fun. So that our energy was really good together. Yeah. And it was just, it was such a weird, like really raw moment of mm -hmm. just awesome. You know, watching you on America's Got Talent, um, I'm very struck by your presence, your Thank you. sense of your confidence. So do you remember what you felt like singing on that stage? Yeah, I, I remember walking out and uh, I remember seeing specifically Simon's face the, fir the first. I looked at his face first, and I just was like, oh. What'd you think? I was like, are you kidding me? This is actually happening. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. OK, let's do it. I did the joke, and I performed that. They all said yes. You got four yeses. I was just blown away. I, I went backstage. And I just, I, it was like a blur. Everything, I, I only remember walking on stage and walking off. I don't remember off, I don't remember what happened. It was just, it, just cause it, it was such an awesome moment, but I just, yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so on the show, you get immediate feedback. I would have stripped the song down. The backing yeah. track overwhelmed it. The lights yeah. were ridiculous. Whether it was stripped out or not, I didn't respond to that song. I don't know that this choice was the right choice. So how does it feel to kind of be told, nah, no, I'm not sure about that, right after <laughs> After you've finished the final note of a song. Yeah, you know, uh, people are excited to hear a cover of somebody, you know, of their own idea of a song. Right. And then when I go out there and do a song, nobody's heard that before, so they don't know if they like it or not. So then right. it was kind of like, oh, okay, it was really risky. Yeah. yeah. And so I did it, I was like, well, yeah, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. And I actually had a song called Who I Am that mm -hmm. I did, so mm -hmm. it's just kind of, you know, like, all right, well, this is me, so. And you delivered, yeah. the, you delivered the goods. So Simon, you mentioned him, um, Simon Cal, one of the judges on the show. Um, he's kind of known as a tough nut. Did he scare <laughs> you at all at first or give you, intimidate you at all? Uh, yeah, I walked on and I was like, oh my gosh. He's so responsible of many, you know, people's careers. Yes. I was like, this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. So I, I went out there and one of the rounds, 
it was one of the in the middle. Mm -hmm. He, I got on stage and he went like this. So I just, I was like, oh, huh. wow. I was like, oh my gosh. So I just Th double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Oh and my I was gosh. Just, I was so blown away. I was like, wow, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that would have been such a huge boost. Yeah. Uh, no, now people make a huge deal out of how young you are. You recently turned 15 yeah. a couple months ago. Yeah. But the fact is that you've been making music since you were very young. I mean, pretty much the vast majority of your life. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm um, so, yeah. so. How did you get into it? Did you take voice lessons? I mean, how did you get? Where it's you, where it's you so are? funny. You know, I, I I really don't know. I just I've always just been singing ever since I was two. Yeah. And I actually have a lot of influence from uh, Selena Quintanilla. Uh, she is a uh, Spanish artist, and she sings like all the time in Spanish and my grandma's Mexican so she would play me all these songs so when I was you know little I would mm -hmm. sing in Spanish not knowing what I was saying. This is probably before I was really even speaking English really well like I just would sing all these songs and I mm -hmm. would dance and just do all these you know I, I really got my start in music really early. Mm -hmm. So obviously singing for most of your life but also you play a lot of instruments as well you started really young yeah, with that. Like yeah I, um, I picked up piano and then I played guitar mm -hmm. and then drums too. I physically cannot stop making beats, and if I'm, you know, working on homework, I'll right. have a pencil and I'm drumming, and I, I can't, I cannot stop. Yeah. You're an artist. <laughs> Thank um, you, is yeah. your family musical at all, or? Uh, uh, Did you my, get that from my your immediate family? family? No, mm -hmm. nobody. Mm -hmm. not, not <laughs> no offense to yeah. you know my family, but dad. Uh, yeah, no offense, dad. <laughs> but you're super supportive, obviously. Oh, your always. Family is I mean, super it's everyone, not yeah. just my immediate family. Literally everybody, mm -hmm. and it's, it's so good to know that because. Uh, you know, sometimes in the show it would just be like stressful. I just would be just like, oh, uh, you know, filming and all this stuff. But you know, they're just always there, and I I can't get rid of them if I tried. So <laughs> you gotta have your people around. Of course, you gotta have and, your, your, yeah. your you know your crew around. Of course. <laughs> um, uh, what, now you were supposed to start your freshman year of, of high school this fall. This year, yeah. But something big happened that kind of threw that uh, plan off a little bit. What what happened? Do you yeah. know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, boy, well, uh, I'm I'm signed by. Uh, Simon Cowell's label Psycho and Sony. So, which means? Which, which means that uh, there should be some music coming out really soon. And wow. I don't have a specific date right okay. now, but I'm just so it's excited and it's working, so yeah. That's, yeah, that's great. And when you're at home in Maple Valley, do you get recognized? Do you get asked for your <laughs> autograph? Is that it's going so, on? It's so funny, because I just, I'll be walking in the store or yeah. something, I'll, you know, I'll just walk in and somebody will just freak out and go, oh my gosh, you're Benicio. And I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, can we have a picture? I'm like, of course. Sure. And then I'm like, yeah. And it's funny because people get really nervous sometimes. I'm like, well, I'm just a normal guy. Like, I, I'm not going to bite. Like, I, I, and people are like, is it okay if we take a picture? I'm like, of course. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't mind. And my dad, too, he got recognized for being the guy who cried on TV all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Watching you perform? Watching me perform. Aww, they were like, oh my gosh, so you're the dad. You're the dad that cries. You're the dad who cries. <laughs> Right? I know. I was just like, I, and my dad, you know, he was like, yeah, I'm famous now. Look at me. <laughs> your dad's such a good guy. Um, He's great. I, I like your fashion sense. We've all been noticing it. And Thank in particular, you. you got a thing for shoes. Yes. Yeah, what are you wearing I, today? Uh, Can, these hold are, them up. Can we get a good, nice shot of these? You guys? Everybody see these? these. Yeah. What are these? What are those? <laughs> these are Yeezys, uh, Kanye West and Adidas. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. And okay. so, uh, I know my parents are like really not digging my fashion sense. They're kind of like, really? Like, because of the look or because of the money? I, both, both, I think, kind of okay. both. Like, and I have these pants that they always make fun of me for. Yeah. They, they call them my grandma pants, but I'm like, no, these are like, these but are you, cool you're pants. You're creating but your whole sense of presentation, style, and how you feel good. Yeah, and That's you know, important. they're my family, so they have to rank on me, like sure. they have to do that. Yes. So I mean, I, I, I'm just used to it now. And so. you just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you kind of dance around your groovy shoes. Yep. All right, uh, it's January 2020, uh, what do you like what would you like to see happen with your career yeah. if you could? I mean oh gosh well it's a new decade which is crazy yeah, I mean I that's insane uh, I think 2020 is gonna be a crazy year mm -hmm. I think you know crazy good like yeah. a good crazy I think it'll be kind of extreme and I, I, I hope that a lot of cool stuff is gonna happen and I just I'm always gonna be making music wherever I am no so I no matter what exactly that's a good way to put it all right I know you're gonna play us a few original songs yeah. these might be on the new album who yeah. knows maybe yeah um what's gonna be first what would you like to play first yeah so this song is called who I am who I am who I am and okay. it's funny this song is really uh, it's it's personal but it's also for other people too because it's kind of about not forgetting who you are as a person, mm. no matter what happens in your life. Amen all to that. All right, who I am? Okay, everybody, yeah. we're about to hear. Woohoo! Benicio Brown.